Joining us now is Martin Truex Jr., who is third in the point standings as we go to the first week of the playoffs. He's a 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion. And uh, welcome, Martin. You're in a pretty good spot as you head into Darlington. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about things. You know, we've had uh, we've had a pretty good season so far. Um, a little bit of a rough stretch here in the summer, but, uh, you know, everything's reset now and, you know, sitting there tied for second already. So uh, hopefully we can, you know, pick up where we left off at Darlington back in the spring when we left there with the win and, um, you know, kick off our playoffs with some uh, with some momentum. Yeah, you got three wins this year. How important is it to have one at Darlington already this year and Phoenix, the final race of the year, uh, that you won there back in the spring as well? I think it's great. You know, obviously it uh, gives us confidence in, in, you know, those racetracks that we can get it done. And, you know, it would be pretty cool to, uh, you know, book in the playoffs with wins. So hopefully we can do that. Okay, you're heading into the Southern 500. You've won this race before. Uh, it's 500 miles versus 400 miles back in May. How different is things going to be this time around than uh, where they were back in early May? I think they're going to be a lot different, honestly. I mean, uh, you know, the racetrack uh, has been worked on. They paved, uh, repaved a section of turn two, um, which I think is going to be significant uh, with the setup of the car and things. And, you know, of course, different time of year. We're racing at night, so weather's going to be quite a bit different. And uh, at Darlington, you had that 100 miles on it. Uh, and the track just, it changes more, you know, that last hundred miles is the track's always uh, quite a bit different. So uh, definitely some new challenges uh, going in there this weekend. Hopefully we can uh, figure out how to, how to handle them. Yeah. How different is it going to be that last hundred miles? Just in what way? You know, Darlington's uh, run up against the wall kind of place, but um, you know, as you get through the race, it gets closer and closer to that wall, that little bit of that little bit of cushion of grip that uh, that's up against the fence kind of gets smaller and smaller. And the risk of running up there, uh, of hitting the wall, goes higher and higher. So basically the track just gets more rubber put down in it. Um, it gets slicker as the race goes on, loses traction, loses grip. Um, and then you lose, you know, you lose a little bit of that, uh, that groove up against the wall. That's, that's so fast. And um, it gets really hard to, you know, keep making speed and keep it out of the fence. Kansas Speedway, that's where we're from, Kansas City, and uh, that's our track coming up October the 24th. I hope it doesn't snow then, but you had a lot of great success at Kansas Speedway. Just uh, tell us about coming to Kansas in late October. Yeah, it's been a, been a really good track. Always love coming out there and, um, you know, fun racetrack. You know, that you can move around on it. I think, uh, as you mentioned, the weather in October, you never know what you're going to get there. And these days with the uh, the, the rules package that we run in Kansas, it's very, very important to, uh, to bring the right race car um, for the weather conditions, for how fast the track's going to be, what's the tire wear going to be like, all those things. Um, it's going to be a guessing game, you know, to see how it plays out and to see how, you know, what the weather brings and things like that. But um, always look forward to going there. It's a fun racetrack where you can run, you know, against the wall and, or, the, or the bottom or anywhere in between. And that's what we like as drivers as options. You had great success with your crew chief, Cole Pern, for a lot of years. Now it's James Small. The transition seemed to have gone pretty well. Uh, you and James were in your second year this year. Kind of talk about that relationship. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, James has done an awesome job moving into the crew chief position. And, you know, last year was uh, was probably the worst year ever to be a new crew chief with, you know, not having any practice or qualifying and trying to figure out how to make that all work every weekend and, um, you know, obviously he's, he's doing a great job this year as well. So, uh, it's been fun, you know, him and Cole were, re were really great friends and, you know, we, we all worked together at the 19 car before James, you know, became crew chief. So, uh, he really picked up where Cole left off and they have a similar approach and, um, you know, similar racing background as well. So it, um, it works well. He's doing a great job. We get along good and, um, you know, we're having a lot of fun working together. Gibbs Racing seems to be in a lot of, uh, uh, it's in a good place right now. That 2311 team with Kurt Busch coming over there, going to work with Bubba Wallace. Just uh, with that kind of a relationship, uh, how much big a help is that going to be being related to what's going on at 2311 uh, with Joe Gibbs? Share a lot of information there? Yeah, for sure. A lot of sharing, um, a lot of stuff like that. And I think it'll definitely help us, uh, you know, the whole Toyota camp as a whole. You know, the more cars we have out there, the more, uh, information we can get back and, and learn, especially with the new car coming next year. Um, you know, it's going to all be about, be about information and, um, and all of us, you know, working together to, to try to make those cars as, as good as we can and figure them out as quick as we can. So 
um, you know, have, having a, you know, highly experienced, um, you know, veteran like Kurt Busch come on, um, it's only going to make us all stronger. So, uh, you know, definitely looking forward to that and um, looking forward to figuring out these new cars. Martin, thanks a lot for spending time with us. Good luck at Darlington on Sunday night and the rest of the playoffs. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very much.